Hello friends, welcome to PySpark video tutorials. In this ongoing PySpark real-time scenario videos, today video I'm going to give you one of the real-time scenarios. How to take a database tables, databases backup in Databricks. Like consider if you have some databases and tables, consider this is one database, it is having some tables. And this is another database, it is having some tables. This is one database and it is having some tables. So how to take a DDL backup? How to take a DDL backup in Databricks? So that we will see with the examples and even dynamic process. So how to make dynamic process like create one function. That function should take whenever you give an input parameter as database name, you should take the backup. So how to achieve this? Let's understand now. I'll create a new notebook. How to create database tables DDLs backup file in database. So normally, if you go to SQL show databases, it will give you all databases. It will give you all databases. Even you can use a PySpark Python API as well. You can use Python API or you can use a spark.sql then show databases. Then it will give you all databases. It will give you and you can go with the collect and it will give you all databases. These are our databases. And you want to store all this database into one Python list. What you can do, you can create uh, all DBs and list comprehensions. And list comprehensions you can use. You can read each value and using a for loop. You can take a, a from here this output because it is a multiple values which you can read each value and then you can uh, append into like you can take the database name. We, we need only this database name. Here you can see there's a variable called database name. We can take that. So now here you can find only databases. These are the database names which you can find here. These are the database names which you can find here. And when it comes to when it comes to taking a backup. I want to take a backup. Backup means which you need to take a table names first. Then you need to use a consider. I will show you one example. If I use this database, use this database, then show tables. So these are our tables are available. Consider this is one of the table which is available in this database. And you can use a command called show create table. So if you use a show create table, it will give you DDL. You see, this is the DDL. It will give you complete DDL. But how to use this? How to use this dynamically? How to use this dynamically? And how to get all these tables dynamically? So to get a tables, what we can do, we can use a Python API that is called Spark catalog is available. Spark dot catalog dot list tables which you can pass database name which you can pass database name consider this is database name okay then it will give you all tables these are our tables like you can see table name database name description table type all this information is available if you are looking for only tables what you can do you can go with the Again, individual, like you can get uh, all tables, you can store into Python list, then you can use for loop, and uh, you can get all tables, like a print table name. So, print a table name, just you can see t dot name. So, t dot name, it is nothing but table name. So it will read all table and table name. So this is one table name. This is another table name. This is another table name. 
So what we can do, we can get all tables, we can get all tables. So we can get a DDLs. So how to get a DDL? So we can pass a table name and a database name, then you will get a, a DDL. So that we can generate dynamically. DDLs, spark.sql, then show create table database name dot table name. Then you can use a semicolon dot. You can use a format function. We can give, we can pass database name, table name. So this is a T, T dot table name. We are going to pass table name. And the database which we will use input here as a variable, as a variable. So for that, what we will do, we'll create a function. We'll create a function, create TDL. So input, we will pass database name. Just uh, arrange in a proper order. So we don't need this print statement. So what I'll do, first we need to get a database name individually. Database name individually. We don't, we need a, a whenever you pass database name, so that database name related to tables, you will get that. Related tables, you will get that. And that tables, which we will use looping. That tables will use looping. So this is a database name dot table name. So here show create table database name dot table name. Then it will give you DDL into this. Okay. So that DDL we can we need to write a file. We need to write a file. So what I can do? I can open a file. Open a file in the temp folder DDLs. Then what I'll do? Backup database name dot sql i'll create a file name like this and uh, database name is a parameter what i'll do i'll use a format function i'll use a database name then open file with write mode so closing here now what i'll do so now i'll write uh, using a write function ddls dot first value because we are using a spark dot sql then we need only first value, first value, which is index zero. Then it will write, it will take the DDL. Then it will write here. Even if you want to uh, add a new line character or semicolon new line character for every table, every table when it is writing, right? Semicolon, then new line character we can write. Then close the file. So, file. so this is the function. Just if you pass a database name here, I will show you this. Okay, this is the database name I will pass. Okay, now before that we need to create a folder because it is going to create a folder. We need to create a folder. It is outside DBFS location. Outside DBFS is nothing but percentage FS, MKDARS file colon, then temp DDL. So create one directory, then list the files. So now nothing is available. Just run this. What will happen? It will call that. Let's somewhere spelling mistake is there. So here DDLs. So here answer DDLs. Just run this. Now it is going to get that and create a one backup file here. You see file is created, even you can verify that file. Just read that file using a head option. You see backup is created for only four tables are there. Each table ending with a semicolon, then another line it is written. For table two, table three, table four. So this way, which we can create a backup, but this function, I want to use it dynamically and uh, multiple tables are, sorry, multiple databases are there. I want to create 
and I can say I want to create a backup files for all databases. All databases. So what we can do? All databases are here. All databases are here. We can use a multi-threading option that is called multi processing dot pool import a thread pool function. Then you can declare how many parallel process you want. Uh, processes the red pool so I consider i want to run four parallel processes okay then this process this variable will have a function called map function then you can call this function to with the input argument as this list of databases this list of databases For loop, take that variable from this databases. So this DB name, this DB name, and this argument name, this argument name. So we are going to pass DB names. So we are going to take this DB name and pass as an input argument. This function will take individual database name as input argument because we are going to get all databases and store into this list. That list we are going to read one by one and parallelly this function will be triggered. Now run this. Same function we are calling with input arguments, with input arguments. Now that function creates multiple backup files based on this result set. So this result set, like four databases are there. So those four databases, backup files you can find here. You see, one, two, three, four databases. This is default database, nothing is available. And this is silver database, gold database, bronze database, like every database is having a tables. This bronze, silver, gold databases, and each database is having these tables. Those tables DDL it is created. Those database tables DDL it is created. So this way which we can go with. First we need to get the tables using Spark catalog dot list tables. Then we need to pass database name here. Then show create table. If you go with the show create table, it will get the DDL from that based on database name dot table name that will take into variable that variable we will write into this file then end of the line we'll add a semicolon and a new line character then we will close the file that's all so this way which we can go with taking a ddl backup in databricks taking a ddl backup in databricks so this will help you whenever you want to migrate uh, database ddls from one environment to another environment one environment to another environment and even if you want to use a parallel processing, we can use a multi processing that is called thread pool option in Python. So if you have a 10 databases, 10 databases can define thread, thread pools. So same function just to pass that database name as input parameter, then it can take uh, dynamically all database tables backup parallelly. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and see you in another video. Have a good day.